Hello everybody, I'm Ankit and here's another Magento security video for your store. This video is about how hackers find information about your Magento store and missing security patches. I have a list of security scanners that you need to run for your store today. Don't miss out and stay tuned. So in reconnaissance and scanning phase, what does a hacker do? He looks for admin URL. So yeah, this is as simple as it sounds. What you need to do, you just need to go to your Magento store. I've set up a Magento store here for demonstration purposes. What you need to do, you just need to append admin to the URL to your Magento store. And if it opens a form, I mean, you have your admin set up on Magento store URL slash admin. That means that you have not changed your admin base URL, then you are at problem you need to do it right away why because a hacker can go to your admin url since it's open to everybody in the world and that's the base url that comes by default he can brute force on it and he gets a chance to bypass your admin login okay so that's what you need to do right away good so the next thing that what does a hacker do he'll go to your side and run mate scan so mate scan is a command line tool so i have set up Mate scan for your site. I'll just go to my virtual machine. So I'll just check. So yeah, this is the store that we have set up. What I'll do is I'll run mate scan on our store and see what does mate scan has to tell us. So this is the command that we use to run mate scan. So you need PHP to run mate scan, right? So PHP mate scan dot PHAR file scan all and then the URL to our Magento store, right? When I press enter. It will start to scan our Magento store and it will give us few information. You see here, it has given us version already. And what now hacker will do, he'll go find out the web on CVE details and see if there's any vulnerability right to this version of Magento, right? This is as simple as that. Till the time this mid scan is running, I'll just go back and see what does hacker next do. He goes to mage report, right? So I'll just check what mage report is. So if I go to magereport.com, it will scan your Magento shop now for known vulnerabilities. For your version that you're using, it will scan your Magento shop entirely. And if you've not you know, followed any uh, best practices or if you've not installed any security patches, it will do that for you. So what I'll do is I'll just put my URL in a major report and see what does this tool tells me automatically right so there's no manual effort you just need to put your url and it will tell you which security patch is missing oh okay so you see that the security patch double one two one nine which is not patched and its severity is high right so this is something to worry there's another patch uh whose rating is high there's another so yeah so if you have a security patch not installed with high risk rating then this is something you need to worry right now so just go back talk to a developer ask him hey why did you not install a security patch right so this is as simple as that so yeah next what the hacker will do he'll just go and you know find vulnerabilities in slash rss feeds right if you don't understand that i'll just show you what it actually means so for rss what magento provides is I found out a URL uh, for RSS in my Magento store. It says magento slash index.php slash RSS slash order slash new in capitals slash new, right? So it gives me an XML file with not much information, but in your case, it could be more information, right? So you just need to secure slash RSS subdirectory, right? So you just need to, you know, uh, blacklist this subdirectory for users to see. Right. Now what hackers do, they'll, you know, just go out in public and, you know, see whether uh, vulnerabilities are there on your store or not. So for that, what they'll do is they'll just go to public scanners available, uh, one scanner that we have. And what you could do is you could just use that scanner in order to uh, scan your site for vulnerabilities. It's uh, astra.sh slash what does it say? Astra.sh slash scanner with capital S. That's what you need to follow, right? So when you go to this URL, you'll see uh, an area to enter your domain so that it finds for um, 
it finds for vulnerabilities right so when you enter your domain here let's see uh what does it tell us so it redirects us to some page it shows us detect seo spam let's run a security audit because it will tell us all uh the vulnerabilities that are there in headers and so it tells us that astra's health score is 58 of 100 uh our site is not blacklisted so that's that's plus does not redirect to https that's correct because we have a staging server so it's uh, for demonstration purposes i didn't purchase an ssl then it says http hsts not enabled x xss protection header not implemented that's correct so yeah it tells us uh you know high severity issues or medium severity issues and low severity issues as well okay so these are the tools that you know hacker usually use to find out vulnerabilities and you know this becomes as catalyst to their reconnaissance and scanning phase right cool so now let's go back to mate scan and see what results we have okay this looks big uh let's just see uh it has given us some information about version installed modules it says no detectable modules were found for catalog information it has categories products unknown then it says patches the status is unknown for a few patches then sitemap uh, robots.txt does not declare sitemaps in this case so you need to understand this table so it says unreachable path check so we need to understand you know for some reason we are getting response code of 404 so the server security is good apparently for the uh, hosting that i've been uh, using and for which i've uh, installed my magento store on so but in your case it might be possible that you have response code of 200 and some fails in status so if response code is 200 and some fails in status then that path gives a sign of a vulnerability right so that is something that should not be shown to uh, your user all right so in a while i'll show you that this i've already tested and i'm just giving you a synopsis right away that this particular directory is applicable on my site but because of server security that's not allowing this tool to run on my site so it didn't show a fail but it's a fail i know i know for a fact so it should be 200 and fail for this tool to show vulnerability okay so that's what you need to understand and it gives us a lot of lot of information so this tool is really cool whoa that's it for the video guys and if you want me to bring in more security videos for your magento store I want you to comment your feelings out. If this piece of information was good for you, just mention in comments that it was an awesome content, Ankit. Or if you did not like the content, then feel free to criticize. And I'm open to criticism because I definitely want to improve. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.